Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Bolivar's Dream playthrough as Grand Colombia, where, well, things have gone, well, we formed Grand Colombia, I didn't actually mean to, I didn't realise it would actually integrate all of the, uh, um, my two puppets, uh, which it did, which caused a few, a few economic issues as we did it, because we weren't ready for it at all, and we are currently dealing with a wave of radicalism which is slowly dropping down we are doing pushing through various texts and things or various laws which are helping to reduce it Ooh. let's see let's see i don't need that i think most of my actual major groups are the intelligentsia is who i need to improve really need to actually do something to make them happier uh laws 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 private schools oh, the catholic church oppose it which would be bad but it wouldn't be as bad and i can't actually ah i need to unrelic un do state religion. Oof. God, no. <laughs> yeah, that would be terrible for us. That would cause a horrific wave of, wave of radicalism. So, no. I mean, the main thing which is going to help here is as we do slowly bring our taxes back down. Hmm. So we are starting to make guns again, which is good. Our paper mills are still really expensive, so I'm going to get another one of them out. I should probably shouldn't be building just now because we're still in debt slightly, but hopefully... Ooh. Oh, nothing to do with me. So I've worked out how to release states, so we probably will push down here a bit into Peru, Bolivia at some point, uh, potentially looking to create some more puppets. I mean, I'd love, um, basically we'll take them and dominion them, but we're in no rush to do that. Uh, it's brief, Josie, Jose Manuel de Viet, I can't say that. Make him step down. Oof! Damn, 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 damn. Potentially gonna hurt our income, but... Resign immediately. So these are expensive goods which I am using. Which. I mean, I can always sell some. <laughs> but they're expensive for us, which realistically means that. I need to create more and I wouldn't actually make money off selling them so if I make more it will make my other businesses more profitable which will make me more profitable basically low level stuff while you can sell it you ideally want to be pushing through other businesses oh that reminds me they make have tobacco plantations but they don't have to go through a uh, anything higher I kind of wish I could look what they use beforehand. Yeah, it does consume a lot of things. But this, these guys should be getting happier because their GDP is going up slowly. Let's compare it to uh, London. 
middling. There are still impoverished people. But yeah, we are not doing terribly, basically. We're not the best in the world. But we know by no means terrible. And that's by increasing the GDP of my people. I'm not quite sure what to do with a trade center here. Ah, railways have been unlocked. That'll be useful at some point. Again, I'm not trying to rush things at the moment. I'm being careful, thought out, and I'm going to absolutely stomp on top of uh, Guatemala's face. Sorry, did I say that out loud? I'm going to go toward Guatemala and potentially take a chunk of Mexico and release it. Because um, Mexico has not been doing well, though I'm going to wait until we stop building, because I don't want to do everything at once. Because raising my army, I believe, will be expensive. I might be wrong. There we go. So paper is now a bit cheaper. We just do it. I cannot afford to lose this time. Ooh. I can't even damage them enough. I'm going to leave them because I can't afford to lose it, basically. At the moment, my economy is too fragile to consider losing a war. This is going to double our paper usage again. But it's really solid. That means I can start incorporating some other places. 83 now. Wow. But their GDP is solid. And incorporating some of these places really will start helping. He says, I might regret this. I might have to drop it back down for the time being. Well, I, I can do that now, so long as I have built myself up before it finishes. Oh, no. Okay, so I've, I've tweaked everything. Okay, I'm now a negative. Oh. Am I that much of an idiot? Yeah, no, I need to build up my paper industry a lot before we even consider that. So we're going to get one more going. Which should help with our economy. Still dropping. This is nice. Okay, we are in a good position. Well, I say we, while we're struggling, we are still very, we are still quite considerably powerful. Ooh. 
Um, no. <laughs> Why? I mean, yeah, they're big and chunky, but but I don't think I need to worry about them. I mean, you know what happens when Russia declares wars with people on the other side of the world. I mean, okay, not necessarily, but... Let's see what's going on over here. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Russia's already struggling with Japan, so... Queen has split up a bit. Uh, Britain's happily colonizing places. The USA is setting itself up a bit more. It's taken Texas now. Chile's in odd shape. And Europe is... Prussia's not done much yet. Italy is slowly forming. And the Ottomans. Oh! Have lost quite a lot to Egypt. Uh, so let's see. Leader of ruling territory has had enough of compromise with coalition parties. They already don't like me, so why piss off everybody else? What does she know? Society. Trying to look at things. Organized sports up to proceed. Pan nationalism. Uh, extra tax capacity. I was looking for things which would potentially lower um, radicalism, but. Pharmaceuticals. No one really going down that route. Ooh, plus, minus 5% bureaucracy population, yes. Some good things in human rights too, but that, the uh, bureaucracy buff, is gonna be, will be very solid for us. Slowly going up. In fact, I'm overly taxing various things probably doesn't help. Am I currently selling clothes internationally? Concerned by that. I don't care about the Liberal Party. So we have organized sports. Yay! Mark 
market. Trade routes. Get rid of them for the moment. Nope. Coffee to the Russian market. Don't think we've really got anything else worth selling. Ooh, dies to the Prussian market. Yes. Right, we need more dye production, and we do have dye production somewhere. And we've got plenty of infrastructure here. Okay! Get a couple of dye farms out. I don't have rail railways yet, so I'm not going to do that. Yes, I do realise I'm spending money when I don't have money to spend. These should be relatively quick to pop, to push out. There we go. That should... have bolstered our military industry a bit more. Because obviously we're not selling anything, but everything is still expensive because we need lots of it. Okay, that's, that's not worth enough for us to make another one. Yet. Yeah. Right. Will that help? Our, our radicals are dropping massively, actually. I just need to chill for a bit and let the income flow. Support more declared interests. Oh. Mexico. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Mexico at the moment. I should probably do down here, but there's no real benefit to it yet. Why is my economy so up and down? It really is just bouncing up and down at the moment. I really want to get rid of that consumption tax, but I can't afford to. I'd like to up everything back to where it was. I mean, I, my economy is stronger, but at the same time, I'm weaker. Which sounds insane. I think I'm just gonna have to do it. Getting rid of some of my military buildings, guys. Let's see, somewhere which has got free. There you go. So we've gone down to 30, which has actually done wonders for our economy. Does that mean I can pay people properly? Not 
quite. I'm happy to take the hit on the military happiness at the moment. Sorting out the intelligentsia should really help with that. And we'll soon be getting rid of that. There we go. Basically, my military was too big. I'm still tempted to reduce it by a bit, if I'm honest. Certainly some of the conscription places, if I've got any. Oh, you don't actually choose these. You know what, for now, because Barrett's are quick and easy to rebuild and it really does do wonders for my economy and it means I'm going to get rid of all these radicals. My people are going to be happier, which means they're going to eventually start making me more money. So it's, this is a short term thing. This is not a long term thing, guys. This is definitely a short term thing, but it should help stabilize us massively. And what I might do is put a consumption tax on something else. Luxury clothes. There we go. What does it give me? Does it give me any negatives other than certain people not liking me? Coffee. <laughs> See, don't want to do normal clothes. Don't want to do things everybody uses. I don't know what services count as. And actually, I can do a cut. That's the thing with that. I can do a few because it's not as dramatic. And when I say that, I've still got a really solid military. It's not as solid as some of the others, but we'll get there. And Mexico's about to get smashed. Danger is if, say, Brazil decides it wants to nom me, though I wouldn't have been able to deal with that anyway. And we will rebuild this. This is a temporary measure. I wish I'd kept the vassal swarm. And don't forget, we've got all our vassals as well. So, I mean, now would definitely be the time to attack Guatemala. Pushing this up. Can I? Can I get away with this now? I think I can. Right. States full are fully in integrated. Uh, pops in incorporated states pay taxes. Gain access. So, yes. We definitely want to be incorporating here. And here. Because they will start paying taxes, which will really smoking help. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know I'm running a negative again. That's fine. Hopefully that'll fix itself relatively soon. With some more paper mills. Let's import some as well. Predicted trade revenue after tax. So this is what confuses me. Is that good or is it bad? Right. I wish I could save and check. Should I be going for the negative one? No, the positive one. Okay, there we go. That pushed the price down, which is good. I'd prefer not to be importing it, but that's good. Right. Oh, I 
I think it is time, isn't it? So 10 plus 19. We have, what, 26 plus 14, and we've got our Vassal Swarm. Guatemala, you will pay for your earlier treacheries. Make a pit. Conscripts are risky because they do cost, end up costing you money, but... Right, so we're going to actually be on both fronts. I'll probably lose here, but that's fine. Do I have spare people? Yes, I do. Can I actually... Get another general out. I can. Okay, and he is going to defend. Yeah. I would assume that Mexico is going to join. But you know what they say about assumptions. At war goal. Conquer state. Yeah, Yucatan. Chibas, Veracruz. With Yucatan and Chibas. That's what I'm going to add to this. Liberate country. <laughs> but no. We might, we'll probably form a country from these afterwards. Right. So add more gold. War reparations. Yep. Look at that. Hmm. Oh, there it is. People are going to hate me after this, so I want to be a bit careful. Wait, America's tempted to join me? I can't actually persuade them, but they are leaning on my guys, my side. If they were to join me, that would just be hysterical. Right. So here we go. Let's just check all my generals are deployed. our flag now it's not us taking the states that's the funny thing here we're winning but it's it's other our vassals how the hell does El Salvador appear to be the people who are taking all these places Oh, I probably should have got guns before I started this. Too many fronts. <laughs> this is what happened last time. We ended up with just a mess of fronts and yeah. To be fair, I would probably accept that, but... I'm going to press it all to start with. We can always change it later on.
They're doing well, advancing and advancing. Tell me as soon as I've got some Yidol. Basically, the fact I had the extra generals really helped here. I suspect Guatemala is about to, to um, capitulate. Ooh. Ouch. We might have to up taxes again. Struggling here. You know what? I'll drop them off for the time being if I can. No, we are winning. I don't need to. I'm struggling on one of my fronts, but we are absolutely hammering them on other fronts go. Let's send some reinforcements to this front. Yucatan is falling. Nice. Guatemala is mine. So we'll hopefully be joining on our side. <laughs> Anybody who I can move is being moved to these fronts because this will be dealt with by my vassal swarm. I need the support here. There you go. You see, we're going to push through here around the back like before. Technically, I could just capitulate now, but nope. You know, we're holding them there. And we're going to flush through here and actually cut their army off. If only encirclements worked like they do in other games here. Like they do in Hoi 4. I mean, they are literally about to get cut off and be gone. Send some support to that from. Okay. Thing is, there's no real negative to me keep fighting, because if I capitulate, I don't lose anything. Let's get everybody on the Veracruz front. There we go, we're starting to win there now. I think we just squished them there, so it's only the Veracruz front now. Let's see. I don't need to do anything with government. Oof. We've got another front opened up, but we are absolutely slicing through. Just a bloody mess. There we go. Right, pause, because I do not want to keep this. Can I remember how to release it? Ha 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 ha. Oh, how was it? I did it. Uh, diplomacy? Release subject. There we go. Uh, 
uh, Maya or Yucatan. Release as a subject colony. There we go. And these are a Dominion, so they don't have to join my wars. But it still gives me a nice little buff. Oh, shite. What's going on with my economy? I missed something there. Oh, no. Oh, holy crap. Thank you, Mexico! <laughs> so this, this is the reparations of Mexico. Because <laughs> Mexico is actually quite a bit richer than me. Or was. I am now taking 10% of their economy. Wow! That's going to happily reduce my vassals at a humongous speed as well. Which will deal with my turmoil. Oh, we've done it. We are back on track. Mexico will pay for our defense. Oh, those poor little bits of Mexico there as well. Oof. Whew. Um, yeah, we've still got a lot to do, guys. I'm not going to lie. There is still a lot to do. We are slowly driving the cost of paper down, and then I want to work on some more economy economics. Then rebuild our military, because we do need to expand down this way for the achievement. Um, and eventually we need to take out these three scary boys here. Anyway, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. We are going to end this one here. Because uh, this feels like the perfect time to stop it. As always, please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying it, this. And an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons. Monsters Abound, Philip F, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Eyre, and Jared Horn. And thank you to everyone for watching. Cheers all.